I am so excited to talk to you guys. I was a little fearful of horror town because I was so politically incorrect in the very first episode. I fell in love. How did you fall in love with the script? Well, I, I just kind of felt like when I read it, I just I, I loved the irreverency of it, and I like and I thought you know those those stereotypes exist for for a reason, and I think shining a light on them, you know, kind of can help make them you know kind of dissolve, explode so, them, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, what do you think about them? I know before the show came on, there was a lot of pushback, and I was debating whether to protest, and then I. <laughs> I get it as a person of color. Yeah, well, the important thing about the show, there's all these misconceptions about it if you have never seen it. It's on Fox. It's part of the Seth MacFarlane empire. It deals with a very sensitive subject, you know, Mexican immigration to this country. But the important thing about the show is that we have amazing people working on it. We have five Latino writers. We have a bunch of Latino talent. We have people like Missy, like Alex Carter, all these amazing, Alex Bornstein, of course, voice actors, great artists, great writers. And so the, together, once, once we finish the product, we're like, we know what once people actually see it, people are going to enjoy it. And that's what happened. People, Once people see it, they're like, wow, this is a really cool show. Yeah. yeah. We are enjoying it very oh, excellent. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Now, I heard that there's an American Doll episode coming up really soon. Yes, yes. Um, Gert has a couple good episodes coming up. She does, does a pageant. Uh, uh, she's in a pageant in a couple weeks and might have a heart attack <laughs> on stage. She might, may or may not. May might, pass away might for a or might minutes. not go to Mexico. She, that, exactly to get because she may or may not uh, have enough have enough money for a doctor. Yeah, yeah. In the United States, so it, it just it's so much fun. And then and then of course she does want an American Girl doll because she is an American girl. <laughs> yeah, the American doll one. Missy just does a great job of really bringing Gert all. So far, Gert people have been loving her because she's like this cool, like crazy little girl. But this she kind of flies in and. Phew, you know. It steals all the scenes, and so once you give her some episodes, she just takes it away. Especially that American Doll one; it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for people to see it. I'm very excited about it too. I can't wait to see my American Girl doll. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I, got, so. I was a little scared of her when she showed her dad's best friend. <laughs> well, was like, and then he ate. I was like, oh. that's what Listen, Gert does. I mean, she's not afraid of telling. You know, she wants things how she wants them, and she is not afraid to get what she wants by any means possible. And I've seen a couple of episodes. One of the ones that I loved was when he was trying to make money by selling drugs and like counting the money, making it rain. How did you guys come up with that uh, story? That was a border wall episode. That was written by the show creator Mark Kentiman and Lalo Alcaraz. And that whole scene, all, all that drug money and drug running, frankly, it was just ripped from the headlines. I mean, we did have an homage to Breaking Bad with Crystal Brew Persuasion. But the amazing thing about that particular episode, you had a border wall and then you have a smuggling tunnel. The week that we told Fox we wanted to screen this to uh, public audiences was the week that Donald Trump started talking about border, about border walls. And then also that's the same week that El Chapo Guzman escaped from prison through a smuggling tunnel. After that, we Fox is like... We are on the pulse. And we, I mean, we, we're creating it. We're creating the pulse. It's kind of eerie. We're prophets. And we, that, thank you. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Gracias. Thanks for having us.